Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Welcome to Drizzle. So, it's cooled off a little, it's 50. It is, my batteries aren't all charged up, or battery, and 8.0 Celsius. So it's a little after two, two, 2.30, something like that. Well, let me show you where I'm at. I hope, um, I hope you guys watch these videos one at a time to some extent I'm, I'm almost tempted to to put them up one day at a time and it's not that I'm trying to stretch this all out I'm trying to fix this boat anchor and I I'm about out of gas here I ran out of things to do and um, rather than have you guys watch the videos and um, and and tell me oh why didn't you try this well I might have tried it in the video before so um, if if you guys could watch all of them in a row what I've done most recently is I changed out the coils and I added a resistor okay I know I just saw the uh, saw that light but oh there we go yeah I knew I saw it I'm like man I've been whiffing too much gas here or something so you guys could see I put the resistor in and I even put the nice little wire ends on and all that trivia right hooked it all up nice hooked the um the coils up properly I mean you know plus to plus minus to minus all that trivia um, there's the carb is still on it I took off the air filter um, and there we are I left the um, spark testers in so to speak and this is what it sounds like spark is more consistent. So that I feel good about. I'm not really happy about the way that works. Over here is just a reflection. Right off to the side here is just a reflection. Um, if I put my hand over the air filter, I mean, obviously she did she job. I got it running and I can start it and drive it and move it and do all those things with it it's got it'll have a proper air filter on it so all those things are positive I guess the comment I want to make is I got the patient stable but it's not running right still not running right um, 
seems to start a lot easier than it used to, which is positive. Um, I I don't know. It still, it still has me frustrated. The um, the other thing I'm wondering about is this thing has some kind of governor on it and I'm not exactly sure how it works and the reason why I'm saying it has a governor is because when I've driven it and it's run right like I'll wind it up and it seems to go up to 3600 and then she'll she'll even down and I'll shift it and right she'll wind back up to 3600 and then you could kind of feel it like like you, you know control itself at 3600 um, now I don't see anything in the distributor that would be doing that. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, obviously I'll Google it and spend a few minutes looking at, looking at stuff online to see if I missed anything. Um, but it... I'm, I'm, for, from what I saw and felt, I guess I'm, I'm not seeing the linkage that would do that. So that's why I'm kind of scratching my, my head a little bit. Um, it's not winding up to 3,600 though. I'd say maybe three grand, 2,800, 3,100. I don't think she's winding all the way up to 3,600. 3,600 sounds like it's going a lot faster than this thing is going. Um, I guess for tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wires on it. I'm going to put the the top back on the rotor. I'm, you, you know, I'm going to put the air cleaner on it. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try to use it a little bit the way it is. Obviously far from perfect, but um, there's stuff I... I got to get done. I can't work on this thing for the rest of my life, right? I got, I got crap. I really got to get to. Um, I want to uh, before the snow comes back again. Um, I want to get one of the. Uh, one, well, not one of the. I want to get the golf cart, the white one. No, the green one. I want to get it onto that trailer and have that trailer so that I can move it around so I can I can actually work on the golf cart. What I'll probably end up doing is working on the golf cart and uh, tarping it up. Um, I gotta I gotta move some stuff around. I think she is gonna move over here. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do with her. Um, nose in over here. This one is going to move over there where, where she is, and I'm going to move some of the stuff around to be able to, 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 get, to, get, to get some movement in here. Um, because uh, she's, she starts easy. At least last time I tried, she did. Um, I know the battery's all nice and filled up, so hopefully if I just hit the key, uh, she fires right up for me. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together again and I really, you know, got to figure out what I'm doing with, with some of this stuff because I can make some, I got to, you know, I got to make some room. Winter's here. I either uh, make room or I got to shut down this enterprise because if I lay down on that ground to do stuff or kneel down on that ground to do stuff, it's only a few minutes before you're cold, you're wet, you're cranky or in my case, crankier, and uh, you stop doing things, right? You, you call it a day, and I don't want to do that. I actually want to I want to move this stuff forward. So um, there we are. Uh, guys, suggestions? I don't know if, I don't think any of you guys are uh, Cushman experts. Um, um, and let me give you a hint. At the rate I'm going, I'm not sure you want to be. Uh, all the snow melted off of that already, which is a good thing. Right. Yeah, it's good to have that all gone. Yeah, I cleaned I cleaned off the buildings, but you can even see with the on the roof of the shed the snow's 
more or less gone. That's a pretty flat roof. Even the roof of the house there, you can see the snow is more or less gone. Yeah, this is frustrating as, as heck because um, I keep, this is like an onion, you know. You take off the outer wrapper and you say, oh, we're good. And you notice a little spot and you take off a little more. And the spot seems to be getting bigger and bigger, right? Like a worm is eating the uh, onion or whatever. So, just quickly, what I've been through, just in case you guys skip to this video and don't, don't watch the series. Um, things been annoying the hell out of me. The carb's been a problem for a while, so I changed the carb. I put, put a Makuto-style carb on this thing. Right, it had a Keevan. Keevan's down by the other garage. You know, I got the proper manifold mounts, put it on. It doesn't appear to have any vacuum leaks. It appears all good. Put it on here, fired it up, and it ran exactly the same as it did before. So I ordered a profanity or two, and then um, checked it out. Noticed that the spark was doing strange things with these sparky testers. So I, I broke into there. I uh, adjusted the points. Cleaned the points, adjusted the points, and uh, fired it up, and it started running on both cylinders, started running better, seemed to start easier, seems to idle better. All those things made me happy with the spark testers on there. When it starts to break up, I noticed the spark was noticing the spark was getting weird, right? I mean, it would actually have gaps. So from there, I replaced the coils. Noticed there was no series resistors in there, so I put a series resistor in there, put the coils from another Cushman into it, fired it up, and it doesn't appear to be any better. Just just doesn't appear to be uh, any better. Um, I mean, it starts, it runs, I'm sure she'll move, but um, I'm kind of kind of a tad frustrated because I'm trying to figure out if I go through the trouble of monkeying around with all the linkage, right? This is the gas pedal linkage, right? And I gotta oh, here it is. Um, Gas pedal. So it's backwards. When I step on this, right, I actually needed to pull, right, because I needed to pull this thing up. So it's backwards, which is going to create yet another pest. So um, I actually like have to do a roundabout cable thing or something else. I'll put that to the old brain and let it think about that over the next little while. I could just turn up the idle and run it, run it on a fast idle, so to speak. I mean, right, you guys could see exactly what the problem is, right? I step on the gas, bang, I'm stepping on the gas, and see how it moves forward, right? Moves in this direction. Well, when I want to give this thing gas, I need to pull, right? I need to pull. Right. The wonderful thing about magnetics, I need to actually pull this thing upward. I'm not showing you well, but there you go. You can see it comes up. So I need the cable to go around, and I actually need it to pull, not to push. So that's a complication. But I can move this around, right? I can turn up the idle and just move it around on a um, 1200 RPM idle. Though it doesn't have the governor, so it might be cranky about a 1200 RPM idle. Uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. The the linkage is is a secondary secondary problem. I, I I'll figure that out. Um, but it's still it's still breaking up. Very annoying. Anyway, so with the new coils, the spark appears to be better. 
though it's still it's still doing that poppy poppy bang bang thing I'm wondering maybe I should go back to the beginning and do a compression test on it maybe the uh, the valves are a little tight if the valves are tight right as the RPM increases I can float begin floating a valve right and if you're floating a valve you end up with uh, fire in the exhaust you could end up on one on one stroke you end up with fire in the exhaust on the other stroke you end up with fuel in the exhaust which could be the poppy poppy right I don't know I'm thinking out loud guys let me know what you think right that's why we have the YouTube garage so that people who are smarter than I am and who've dealt with more of this stuff than I have could help me out and hopefully at some point I can help all you guys out Folks, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up. And also remember to enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so make sure you enjoy each and every one of them. Take care, folks. Bye now.